with biting hunger in the land due to high cost of living coupled with insecurity and unemployment. Another nationwide protest against bad governance is being organized to be held on August the 1st, 2024. It has triggered calls from some members of the House of Representatives during plenary on Thursday urging Nigerians to shun the idea of protest over the current economic situation, stressing that such an action will not be in the interest of the country and may lead to loss of lives and properties. Over here in the southeast, calls have also been made by some prominent Nigerians asking the people of the southeast not to join the protest and allow the government to tackle the economic challenges. The people of Nigeria, on the other hand, seemed to be adamant about these calls as plans are still being made to push through with the planned protest come August the 1st, 2024. Over TV correspondent is out on the streets of Enugu to get people's reaction and opinion regarding the situation. Hello and welcome to Enugu Connect on Ogama TV. Now, the current economic challenges in the country have prompted the people to hit the streets come August 1st, 2024 in protest against bad governance and hunger in the country. Over here in Enugu State, we are out here to get people's opinion. Now, there's been a lot of argument for and against the protest. Let's hear what people have to say regarding this situation. Yeah, the upcoming protest is not bad. It's good for everybody to protest because of the situation of the country. Because the hunger is too much, no food, no work. Then, since the government don't want to regulate the distance, it's better people should come out for the protest so that they will know the way forward of the country. So that they will know what everybody is going to do. So fine, if the protest is not going to be violent, it's very good to come out for protest. Because when you protest, you know what you are fighting for. Not that when you come out for protest, they start shooting. But we don't want that. When you come out for protest, you know what you are aiming. At least, we want the country to be good, not to be worst like this. I, I support the protest. I support the protest. The police should just stay, should just protect life and property. That is just it. I support the protest. So the protest is very, very important. And I, I, I encourage everybody to come out for the protest. Uh, here protests are like a man and all that now. It may hold up on my but if I'm more now, now it may protest now. I got a lot of wood because protesting, I got a lot of wood. I'm not going to my town. One man, I get it. I'm going to my own. Okay, my name is Kahama. I don't want my own. I don't want my own. I don't want my own. I push in the protest because any protest now. My American man, it's a guy off my many country. I'm not until you are the so you may put a saga to come more god in my bet. How about I live? And make it take a couple of or get them. I am why I want here. The protest should be good idea because that in the democracy, this is the only way they can the masses can speak to the government if they feel like what the government is doing is not right. Our government have shown their best right to the point of we have no regard anywhere. Our passport has no count anywhere in the continent. Our passport has no value. Our system has no value. Our currency is totally differentiating every day by day. So if people should can some of the courage and come out for the protest, yes, it's going to be a very stern warning to them. They know that uh, people are not happy because there is a country where they pass new national item within one week. For them to revive the cost of a living, it takes them 150 days. What kind of country are we? You see, when people are telling about democracy, I grown up to find that Nigeria don't practice democracy. Nigeria is a country where everyone wake up and do whatever I feel like doing and go stay with it. Let people come out and do the protest. It's going to be the way forward for us. Because we don't have another... I'm not a dual citizen. This is the only place I have as a nation. So, if I can give them more listening here... I'm 
The Southeastern, politically, I would advise them not to join. Uh, this issue, we have a divide in the political system, which brought about the present head of state. So, the Southeasterners are not favored in the political dispensation of this present government. So, I would advise them to be silent. But economically, they affect everyone. No? Every, everyone, everybody, nobody is uh, deserted. So, I advise, like what happened in Kenya, they did the protest and there were positive uh, outcome. They forced the government to heed to the demand of the populace, the public, and peace was there. So, if the youth here will rise up to the demand of the occasion and protest, uh, if I'm in Lagos, I will join them. But if Southern in uh, Southeast here, I advise them economically they should join, but politically, I will say they should not. The problem in Nigeria is not a Southeast thing. Eh? So, personally, I think every Nigerian has a civic duty to come out and protest. Eh? When Jonathan was in power, the current president came out, protested with his people, with his party. But that's not even the issue. The main issue now is that everyone is suffering and nobody is talking. The way things are in Nigeria now, this protest should have been done a long time ago. It's still going to get worse. And if this government doesn't do anything, when it will come, NSAS will be child's play. That's what I keep telling people. It's not a case of South East this or South East that everybody's feeling the pinch. Uh, if we try to exclude ourselves from the protest, at the end of the day, then we, we can't complain, we can't blame anybody. For me, Nigeria needs an uprising that is even more than this. But uh, it has to come from the people. And this, if sitting down in Asorok or whatever and telling people ah, that they should go down is not enough. They got, the present government should come out and do something and show people that they are serious. All the destruction that's going on all over Nigeria is wrong. Every day, instead of governing and building, all the governors, the, even the uh, executive arm, um, they are all destroying and destroying and all these things don't make any sense. It means this government does not like the citizens. When you think of online TV and radio, broadcasting, media consultancy, event coverage, event management and planning, there's no better name than Ogama TV. But that's not all. We're also into photo studio and coverage, equipment rental, news blogging, fashion and pageantry. We are at number 5 at Stroke 21 Chime Avenue, beside Open Sheraton Restaurant, New Heaven, Enugu. Follow us on our social media handles, Facebook at Ogama TV, Instagram at Ogama TV One, Twitter at Ogama TV, website www.ogamatv.com. You can also send us email at ogamatv at gmail.com. Ogama TV, your one-stop media solution.